Three. Okay, this is the Junior 451 CO2 motor. It's got the CO2 holding cylinder, the filler valve, uh, the expansion tubing that goes over to the cylinder head, uh, and then just the simple crank case with a piston inside and a connecting rod down to the shaft, and then this uh, cheap propeller. And the way it gets filled is you take this CO2 charging unit, it has a Daisy BB gun CO2 cartridge in it, and just load that in and hold it down for a number of seconds. It's kind of a hit or miss in terms of how long it'll run based on how long you charge it and how much pressure is left in the CO2 cylinder. I'll just pull that out. And then for starting, uh, it's very simple. You just give the propeller a flip in the direction you want it to run. And you'll notice it has one speed now as the motor runs for a little while. It starts to speed up as the uh, CO2 is able to, as the motor itself warms up, there's not a whole lot in it, so now it's going to stop. But it will run in the opposite direction just by giving the propeller a flip. I'll need to charge it again a little bit more here. Let's just do this real quickly. Let's give it a quick blip. According to the instructions, it'll run between 30 and 60 seconds on a full charge, but we're not giving it anywhere near a full charge. So there's just running in the opposite direction. Now it's uh, acting as a pusher prop. So it's a pretty simple motor. And not a whole lot of thrust, but it's enough for a little free flight plane. Okay.